right now, brethren, the children of God are in a battle. We're in the heat of the battle right now. We have need for a sword and for a spear to defend ourselves against the enemy or else we'll be overcome by him. And this whole time that we're warring, the battle grows hotter and hotter. And we have need to continually learn how to war. We have to learn how to fight, so to speak, learning new strategies, new tactics. We want to learn continually how to better wield the sword that we've been given. <clears throat> we want to labor more effectively. But we do remember that the reason we're considering these things is because we're looking to the end of when this war is going to cease. The war is going to come to an end. And we're considering that time when we will no longer have any need for a sword or for a spear anymore. Not only will the war be ended, but we will be victorious. It's not just that it's going to cease. We are going to gain the victory. And that's what's going to bring the culmination to it. Our enemy will be put away, so there will be no more need to defend ourselves. We'll have this object we don't need any longer. We're not just going to discard it. The scripture in Isaiah says that they will beat their swords yeah. into plowshares. Now, this, this is a change of equipment. And this change of equipment signifies a new season that is coming. Mm -hmm. This season of war is going to be passed. And there's a new time that's coming on the horizon where there is going to be peace and productivity. And when these things increase, that our productivity is going to be able to increase. When all of the labors that we expend are going to be for fruitfulness Amen. instead of during the time we are now in instead of our energies being divided we're warring with one hand and then building with another kind of like Nehemiah in his day the builders of the wall no longer will our energies be divided but all of our energies will be going for um, profitability that's a time when our labors will not exhaust us We've experienced this in times whenever we labor. It, it may be very satisfying, the things that we're laboring in, but those labors wear us out. They exhaust us. No longer will those ener uh, energies and labors exhaust the people of the Lord. Now, again, in this text, it does say that they shall beat. The ones who hold the sword, yeah. they shall beat the sword into plowshares. Now, we think of a blacksmith beating metals to change its form, to change the shape of what he's working with. First of all, he heats it up. He makes it hot. And while it's hot, then he strikes upon it with force to change the form of what he has been working with, blow after blow. Now, we are the ones who are going to beat this sword that was in our hand into a plowshare. But the, the way this is going to come to pass is by use in the battle. That's how this sword is going to be beat into a plowshare. Um, it will be by reason of use in the battle that this is accomplished because the battle is producing the heat. And then every stroke that we take against evil is going to produce the clashing or the beating so that this can be formed into a new tool by reason of use. <clears throat> Remember that Paul said we do not war in vain like those beating the air. We are going to be profitable in our labors in war. It's going to produce something. It's going to accomplish something as we fight in this war. Um, those who do not use the war, in, or sorry, those who do not use the sword in the warfare will not have a tool that is suitable for eternity's labor because it is in this battle that we're going to gain that. Now, remember again, there is coming a time when we won't need these things. That's what we're considering. So there's coming a time when we will be able to detect that this battle is coming to an end. We're going we're gonna to see the victory is coming near. It's almost here. And we're going to sense that there's a time, a change in this season that's coming. We're not going to need this that was in our hand any longer. We want to, we'll see that day approaching and we'll have a desire to enter into the new labor that the Lord is bringing. So the Lord could ask us the same question that he asked of Moses. What is in your hand? Lord, we want to be useful in this new labor that we see coming. He says, what is in your hand? Well, we know that when we were, uh, began the battle, when we began to fight this good fight of faith, we were given this sword. And we remember that's what was in our hand. But when the battle is over and we examine this item that is in our hand at the end of the battle, it's going to look more like a plowshare than it did in the beginning as a sword. 
So when the Lord shows us this, shows us what is in our hand now, he will show us this is what's to be used in this new labor. This is going to be effective in the new work to come. This is what I've given you. So then with his grace, we'll finish up the, the change of this item and we'll have a new tool that is um, an instrument that will be much more effective in the coming labor. So just as we were well equipped for the battle that we entered into, the Lord is going to change these things and help us to change these things so that we will also be well equipped for the new season, um, entering into the joy of our Lord and being able to serve him with abundant fruitfulness, even as our desire has